Next Stop Rio is proudly brought to you by ANZ and Sky Next. Rio de Janeiro is one of the most iconic cities on the planet. Famous for its breathtaking scenery, laid-back beach culture and beat of the samba, Rio will play host to the 31st Olympiad. Late last year, Sky Next athletes Glasgow boxing gold medalist David Nika and rowing world champion Emma Twigg were lucky enough to visit this incredible city and soak it all in. For these Olympic hopefuls, their next goal is to wear the silver fern at Rio 2016. Alright, we're here on Ipanema Beach and uh, we're going to go find out today why uh, beach volleyball is so big and so popular in Brazil. Looking forward to it, looking forward to being taught a few lessons by one of the pro Brazilians that we've got here. Um, I've played before and it hasn't been pretty, so we better go and check it out. That's wrong. And who better to teach Emma and David about beach volleyball than Rio local Pedro Solberg, who with partner Evandro Concalves Oliveira are ranked amongst the top five in the world. The pair won bronze at last year's World Champs and could very well feature amongst the medals on home sand at Rio 2016. OK, guys, so first of all, we're going to learn some about passing, because passing is the first uh, and most important thing of beach volleyball. If you don't pass good, you can start the game. And here, like this, and close it here, this, like this, and always like, yeah, never here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm still feeling back very far. Then. Okay. Do as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and then your direction. Okay. Yeah, this is the best. This is good. So tell me a little bit about uh, you and your family. You, you all compete, is that right? Yeah, it's right. My sisters, they, they play volleyball, they play together. Uh, and my mom used to be a volleyball player, but she used to play indoor. She was a very good indoor player, and, and she played for two Olympic games. And yeah, that's why I started, to I started to love the sport. She was a great mom, also out of the court, but she also uh, could teach me so much inside here. Okay, right now we're gonna try some setting, okay? Because it's the second most important thing after passing. You have to try to, to go with your legs and your arms together, like, in the same time. You use your, it's the same. And here it's like this. Feel the ball, like, here. Yeah. This is something, yeah. Yeah, exactly, like, try. Sure. Yeah, that's very good for fun. Uh, yeah. Great. Very good. You guys can stay closer to me. Yeah, because then it's easier, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about why it's so ingrained in the, in the Brazilian bloodline? Everyone seems to play beach volleyball around here. First of all, because we have a long coast. And yeah, we have, it's very easy. Like, you just need a, one net and a ball. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a, an expensive sport, you know. Uh, so it's easy to play and I don't know if it people like. People like to play with ball here. Like we have soccer, it's yeah. the first sport by far. Uh, and it's, it's, I, it's, I like, I think it's nice. Yeah. I think the people like also. So first we learn how to pass and then to set. Now it's the, it's the third most important thing that is your, what finishes your side out is the, the hitting, spiking. Like so we go here and here. Those are the two most important steps. But, and the last one is even more, because it's jump. where you it's the one where you gotta jump, and it's where you, you bring all the, 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 the power from your whole body. Uh, it comes from your legs, so it starts here. So you go this and this. Oh, that was the best. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, perfect, man. Who's going to be your main competition at the Rio 2016 Olympics? Uh, Brazil, first of all. I so think, there are, yeah. there's more than one? More than Brazilian one, team. yeah. There's two Brazilian teams. The other Brazilian team is, uh, is, is, the, one, is the team who won the World Champs last right, year. Right. And they finished first in the World Tour, so they are very good. 
and it will be tough to be beat. But there are also other uh, very uh, good nations like, like Holland, like uh, Italy and China and US and France and well. It's like, I think there are like eight, nine teams who could win the Olympics, you know. Right. Do you think there'll be a, a hometown advantage? Yeah, I, I think the, the only advantage I will have is my, my uh, the fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it will be great to play with Brazilian fans. I love to play with, with, uh, with the crowd supporting me. I, I like that a lot. So we learned the three basic things from beach volleyball. So now we play a little game. Okay? Yeah. We both? Let's do it. Against you guys? Okay. Whoops! It's it! No, it's a... David was trying to be a show off. I'm going to go for the more traditional approach. So thanks, Pedro, for um, dunking on me and teaching us a few things. Um, and we wish you all the best for, uh, for Rio 2016. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. I uh, can't wait to see you guys here next year. It was my pleasure. You guys are always welcome here in Panama Beach. Well, we love about Brazil. OK. <laughs> always welcome. Cheers. Cheers. So we've just finished our volleyball lesson with Pedro on the Ipanema Beach. It was an absolute blast. My skills were a little bit rusty, but I think you nailed it. Just rusty? No, the dude's a beast. And, um, he dunked on me like multiple times. I don't like him for that, but he's an awesome volleyballer and um, just a nice dude, actually. Yeah, I think the, the volleyball here next year is going to be a great event to come and watch. It's always good fun, lots of music, good atmosphere. So now we're a little bit skilled on it. Now I can go for a dip. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 